beautiful days. Let us thank God for the nature, the beautiful nature. Who created this nature? God. So, the teaching in Book of Wisdom, chapter 13, 5 says, from the beauty of the nature, you can also understand the beauty of God. Beauty of God. That is why in all the Psalms, we see so many Psalms singing about the beauty of the nature. So we also, <clears throat> and I know all of you are working in your monastery, or in your uh, seminary or in the formation house, you are also working with hand in the nature, planting flowers, plucking flowers, and planting things. All that is a very beautiful, we have to learn many things from that. <clears throat> Just I shared this, so let us thank and praise God for the nature. So also God has created a nature in us. Every person is a God's beautiful creation. Every person. Every person. In the image of God. Okay, now we will continue. Now in one day, in one day, yesterday, what was the highlight of yesterday? If you can say, what was the highlight of yesterday? The highlight of yesterday is, we got a very friendly person. Who is that friendly person? Who is that? Holy Spirit. <laughs> I'm so happy. Exactly. Everything we ask the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit immediately providing us through visions, through hearing, through scripture, through prayer. This is the religious life. Okay, today we will learn more about, but the very first thing, <clears throat> you know, I tell you not to exaggerating or not making myself big. But I get up morning at 3 o'clock. And one hour I pray, more than one hour I pray. And 4.30, my first live program in the media starts on Catechism of Catholic Church, Malayalam. All over the world, people are coming in the live program, nearly 100 of people, and it by evening, it goes to about thousands of people. And 5.30, the next one in English. So already I have done two such worldwide uh, evangelization of teaching of the Catholic Church. This is a very big treasure. When we think about catechism, oh, what a bachonka bate, things like that. It is not so. Catechism of Catholic Church, the real official announcing of that is called Apostolic Constitution. The official name of this teaching is Apostolic Constitution. Just like if you are a citizen of India, we are bound to live according to a constitution. If you are a member of your religious congregation, first of all, you have to obey the constitution of the religious house. So, Catechism of Catholic Church is an apostolic constitution, and another name is Fide Depositum. It's a deposit of faith. And I tell you, thank God that the Lord gave me such a love for this more than 30 years. 
30 years. Every day I am learning this, I am teaching this. You ask, you ask any question, where is it written in catechism about this, this, immediately I can answer. <laughs> So that is my great wealth, my wealth. I am up to date with the teaching of the church. So also several papal teaching, teaching of Pope John 23rd, teaching of Paul the sixth, teaching of John Paul the second, teaching of Pope Benedict, teaching of Pope Francis. All these teachings we have to learn. You know, Pope Benedict, when he was a seminarian, or even before he was a seminarian, as a young boy, his hobby, his hobby was translating Bible words into Greek and Latin. <laughs> Imagine. and learning that. Now it is very simple. You can just write in Google what is Latin of this word, then you will get it. So this is the way seminarians should live, not in the worldly things. And as Joseph Ratzinger, as a priest, or he began to learn the teaching of a great saint, Saint Augustine. Saint Augustine's autobiographical book called My Confession was always he carries, like Bible, <laughs> and keep reading a little bit. So we should have a, a companion saint. <laughs> I have with me this is surely my companion. Wherever you see me, you will see me with Bible and Catechism and some of the papal teachings, but also one of the saints' book. Nowadays I am reading the dialogue of Saint Catherine of Siena. It is in my bag, my pocket bag, while traveling in the flight everywhere. I read that. Another companion book I had was St. John of the Cross, Ascent to Mount Carmel. Another companion book was John Paul II's encyclical, Domino Vivificandum. So all these things I am telling you, these are all available in your library. You have to make use of it. Where is sister? Yeah, sister, please come, we will sing. I just wanted to <clears throat> give a starting. So now we will pray a little bit, a personal prayer. Our sanctification, our infilling, asking Holy Spirit to fill us. So, Let us focus. So, you have in the morning your prayer time, but whatever prayer you are praying, reading vocal prayers, but there must be some time, some time you must have a inner prayer, an intimacy, an intimacy. So, in that, the main content of the prayer must be anointing of the Holy Spirit, cleansing and filling, cleansing and filling. What happened? This? Okay. Shall we sing? O Atma? Yeah. Shall we sing O Atma? Better we stand up. 
We stand up. He he my is it down again? Then the voice of Maria, no? Hello, hello. Hello. Ah, now it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. So let us focus. Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity is dwelling in you. And the Holy Spirit is eager to fill you, sanctify you. So through this song, we are making a prayer. We are making a prayer, a personal prayer, a very personal prayer. Yes. Shwari ka, main hoon 
More than 33 years, every day, I sing this and I drink this Holy Spirit. Can you imagine what is my age? Huh? 72. <laughs> anyway, good. But I am 73 years. And in these 73 years, I am working more than 18 hours a day. More than 18 hours a day. Every day with full power. I never feel tired. I don't need so much sleep. The reason is I am living in the Holy Spirit. All my work, I am not using my power, my intelligence. No. I am using the power of God, the risen power of God. That is Christian life. 
Christian life means get the things done by Christ and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> get the things done by Christ and Holy Spirit. That is Christian. Are you a Christian? Then who is in you? The Holy Spirit and Christ. That is why we say Atma se sanchalit hona chahiye. We must be led by the Holy Spirit. So, Christian life, particularly as a priest or religious, a life animated, empowered by the Holy Spirit. So, let us spend a few minutes in a personal prayer. This is the very important uh, point I want to tell you. Very personal prayer. So Jesus, before teaching the Our Father prayer in Matthew chapter 6, before he taught the Our Father prayer, he taught in Matthew chapter 6, 6. Where to pray? Whom to pray? How to pray? What to pray? Why to pray? Five points. He said, when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, That is how to pray. And pray to your father whom to pray. In secret. And your father will answer you in secret. So in this, it is a very personal aspect of our prayer. So our life will be very successful if you learn to pray. The apostles, apostles, asked Jesus nothing else. They did not ask Jesus, show us how to do the miracles. But instead they asked only one thing. What is that? Lord, teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. I was invited by many monasteries, especially contemplative convents like Mother Teresa's contemplative convent. I gave them nine days retreat, a contemplative retreat, nine days long. <laughs> there is so much to learn to pray. Mother Teresa's sisters, as it is, they are very prayerful people. And the contemplative sisters of Mother Teresa in Rome, when I gave them nine days long, then they wonder, oh my goodness, so much more to learn. So I tell you, even now, I am learning. I am learning. Prayer is a continuous learning. My first attitude is, Oh, Holy Spirit, I am a pupil. I am a student of Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus, teach me how to pray. Holy Spirit, teach me how to pray. What I know is only a drop. And what I do not know is an ocean. That's it. The great Saint Thomas Aquinas, who wrote the 
great theological work summa theologica and he is the one who compiled the teaching of the fathers of the church and made a bible commentary called catena aurea that is another fascinating teaching i am learning and i am proclaiming catena aurea means golden chain maybe you may have that in your library otherwise you can google there is a very good online library called ccel.org it's a online library where you can get all the catholic books online ccel dot o r g christian uh, christian confraternity eternal library something like that c c e l dot o r g okay now yeah uh, let me complete the story of saint thomas so at almost he, he at the end of his work he once got a, a vision of the lord and his wisdom and he was stuck he says oh my goodness what a glory what a infinite wisdom comparing to that infinite inexhaustible wisdom all what i have written is nothing but straw nothing but straw and he stopped writing he did not complete summa theologica he did not complete then some other conferers completed it he stopped right he said what infinite wisdom okay coming to that so we must learn how to pray a intimate prayer a personal prayer so i just show you how to do it you now you don't write anything you just leave your books you just pray with me so you will learn to pray this okay so first thing is keep a hand on your heart and believe god is dwelling in you as we were singing you are a, i am a temple of holy spirit the trinity is in us the most holy trinity so let us praise the trinity okay keeping both our hands just to have a feel about god in us god this beautiful god who is the creator of the whole world he lives in us you can feel him there is a english song oh okay i don't sing that now now let us focus on this god is in us mm. <laughs> that song is coming me god's not dead god's not dead he is alive he is alive i can feel him all over me is god dead no 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 god's not dead he is alive he is alive i can feel him all over me i can feel him in my hand i can feel him in my leg i can heal him in my head i can feel him in my heart i can feel him all over me 
it is so true god is spirit a person who lives in us our spirit and we can feel him so get into such a contact believe that he is alive in you the risen lord the resurrected lord how god comes in because he is a risen lord suppose he is a person moved around in palestine that jesus in his mortality cannot come inside us after the resurrection he becomes spirit therefore he could come inside so jesus after the resurrection when the apostles were in a closed room and the door was locked he came in he came inside the closed room so also he come inside our closed heart even if you are closed even if you are not open he can come in now please pay attention please pay attention believe this is how you get into an intimacy you are in god and god is in you it is not only you are god is in you simultaneously we are in him we are in him now let us sing a song two lines of a worshiping him let us worship him father we adore you everybody personally worship the trinity inside come on everybody please sing father lay our lives be jesus lay our lives be for you says god all you speak our lives we love trinity we adore you lay our lives now in principle you believe god is in you maybe you have not yet started having a feeling this in matter but you know from the teaching of the church and the teaching of jesus jesus said whoever eat my body and drink my blood in him i live and and he in me that's it so when we eat his body and drink his blood that is the most strongest way god is living in us now i think some of you feel sleepy can you stand up so this is our biggest 
difficulty when we make a personal prayer we we may feel like sleepy in the initial days in the initial days so at that time you have to know how to handle it maybe you should stand you should do some jogging <laughs> feel me feel me feel me feel me feel me feel me so or read a passage from the bible so otherwise the sleep will take away your prayer time everybody kring 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 bell ring is prayer time oh okay we must go to the kapela chapel and we sat in the chapel then we only heard the next bell <laughs> bell kring 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 oh prayer time is over oh, okay 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 i am not i am telling you the most important time of our life is that prayer time that is the time the lord is waiting for you to give you give you give you give you wisdom knowledge understanding sanctification everything so we should say the quality time quality prayer what what people expect as a priest what do people expect from a priest who is a priest a man of prayer first of all a priest is a man of prayer jesus is the high priest you know among the four gospels i hope you know the symbols of the four gospel what are the symbols of the four gospel what is the symbol of matthew's gospel eh winged man winged man and what is the symbol of mark's gospel lion winged lion what is the symbol of luke's gospel winged ox what is representing ox ox is represented by priest a priest priestly life priestly life is like a ox who is always carrying the burden and eventually he is offering to be slaughtered to be a sacrifice and the symbol of john's gospel is the eagle or vulture that is he is not in the earthly level he is always in the high way of revelation and resurrection so priestly life is completely imitating the life of christ the way he prayed the way he prayed and he himself is praying in us so in luke chapter sorry in mark chapter 14 32 jesus said sit with me while i pray jesus is praying for you and in mark chapter 135 he went to a deserted place early in the morning to pray so as priest would be priest your time table should be imitating christ what he did in mark chapter 1 the first word of mark chapter 1 is gospel of jesus christ son of god he is son of god so he is god himself and in that first chapter the last words in last paragraph paragraph beginning from 35 says early in the morning before dawn he went to a deserted place there he was in prayer for me this is a very big conviction that i have to imitate christ and added to that 
in the book of wisdom chapter 6:14 book of wisdom chapter 6:14 says early in the morning she the wisdom is waiting at your door <laughs> ah that is my big motivation so 3 o'clock 4 o'clock i am always in prayer wisdom 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 okay so now let us praise god praise you jesus thank you lord come on lift up your hands and praise god hallelujah 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 everybody praise you jesus thank you jesus focusing focusing holy spirit in you oh holy spirit i praise you holy spirit okay now you please sit down i take another 5 minutes to show you once again so now we know holy spirit is in us and we have our inner self our inner self means our soul our conscience our mind our unconscious mind subconscious mind our inner senses that is we see many things and all that is stored inside us and we hear so many bad things or good things that is also stored in us so in matthew chapter 15 13 jesus says all that is not planted by the heavenly father will be plucked out so let us pray oh holy spirit cleanse my soul wash my soul everybody pray oh holy spirit dwelling in my heart sanctify my soul sanctify my conscience sanctify my soul sanctify my conscience sanctify my mind sanctify my mind sanctify my memories sanctify my memories sanctify my imagination sanctify my inner senses all what i have seen what i have heard what i have touched sanctify me sanctify me o lord cleanse my body mind and soul sanctify me o lord all bad thinkings all bad films or bad literature i have read all the bad stuff in my inner self purify me lord purify me shala la 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 oh holy spirit oh holy spirit you have to directly pray to holy spirit now you have learned to be in friendly with the holy spirit holy spirit wash me cleanse me sanctify me holy spirit you are the holy 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 sanctify me so this is how you have to pray but more time little more time but every day every day some time you must pray for sanctification then in filling fill me holy spirit with the fruit of the holy spirit love joy peace come on focusing holy spirit in you 
fill me holy spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control sometimes we become angry unnecessarily angry suddenly angry for no reason we become angry the reason is our soul is not filled with the love of god so when we say fill me with more love that day you will not be angry but next day again so every day we need the love of god so saint paul's teaching in first corinthians chapter 13 first corinthians chapter 13 he says you may have all the gifts but without love you are nothing love is patient love is kind love is not jealous we feel jealous love is not pompous love is not inflated love is not rude love does not seek its own interest love is not quick tempered love does not brood over injury love does not rejoice over wrong doings love rejoice with truth love bears all things love believes all things love hopes all things love endures all things love never fails there are 16 points in this so when you pray fill me with the love then you will not feel jealousy you will not be rude you will be very friendly you will be obedient to your superiors you will be respectful to your companions you will be compassionate to others only what you need is fill me with your love oh holy spirit love joy peace love joy peace patience kindness goodness gentleness and then wisdom we must be people of wisdom jesus himself is the wisdom in first corinthians chapter 1 30 he is the wisdom and power of god and first corinthians 1:30 says god made him wisdom christ is the wisdom of god fill me with wisdom wisdom knowledge understanding everybody fill me with wisdom knowledge understanding come on everybody fill me with wisdom knowledge understanding wisdom knowledge understanding wisdom knowledge understanding come on louder fill me with wisdom knowledge understanding wisdom knowledge understanding wisdom knowledge understanding then the theological virtues faith hope and charity faith hope and love come on fill me with faith hope and love come on everybody fill me with faith hope and love faith hope and love faith hope and love and all charisms oh fill me with all charisms fill me with all charism fill me with grace grace according to my charism i am a religious i want to be a priest so give me the grace to live my chastity poverty and obedience i want to be a holy priest a holy religious give me that grace grace come on everybody fill me with that grace fill me with that grace oh fill me with that grace okay now this much is the content of the personal prayer it in my opinion it should be around 1 hour depend upon your time table but 
this much you must make sure early morning sometimes you pray this much and then you open the gospel and read a word of god and then that word will become a light for the whole day so jesus himself was praying a good personal prayer all the saints that's it sometimes people ask me thomas paul i saw you 30 years back how are you keeping such a same vibrancy sister have you seen me 30 years back <laughs> yes or no yeah and what do you see now am i doing good am i same yes the reason is my personal prayer that's what i want to tell you many people ask me what is the secret i saw you 30 years back and you are the same now also doing more powerful ministry how are you able to do this personal prayer this i want to open my heart to tell you this this is the secret of our success if you learn to do a good personal prayer you can be a holy person no matter there may be weaknesses and failures but we are not put down by that we will come over it okay sisters personal prayer quality prayer you have time but that time you should not sleep <laughs> you should make it effective okay so now we go for breakfast and we come back at 9 o'clock okay come back at 9 o'clock thank you god bless you bye bye